Okay, y'all, it looks like doing all the praying the other day actually worked. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get the other videos up in time. I actually did a video asking for y'all thoughts on which car I should go with, but I done jumped the gun. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't, I'm still going to put that video up because there's still time for me to change my mind. I got, um, I ain't, you know, put everything in stone yet, honey. That'll be Sunday when they come to my house, but Diva finally got her first car, y'all. Woo! Woo! Honey and my darn going to the fruit of voice, honey. Yes, honey. I done started my first day back at the job, and it was actually good. You know, old girl, unfortunately, was there, but she was actually on her best behavior for once. I guess because the, uh, the other people weren't there. Now, we got a couple people at our job who indirectly were affected by COVID, like they tested negative, but because some people in their house tested positive, they weren't able to come back to work. So my girl pal that I like, that's there, she ain't there. Then the the two managers that we had weren't there. Actually, three of the managers weren't there. So the girl that I didn't like, she's not acting as a fill-in manager for the time being. Is like, but surprisingly, she's actually good. We, we've been conversing all day. It's just the three of us. It's just the three of us. It's just the three of us. The power three, baby, will set us free. Honey, the three of us. And then it was like, those were the two women that I originally, um, got to converse with the most during my first day at the child. Um, back in January. So the irony that it was the three of us plus two new people, two additional new people in the front, plus one old person that, I, uh, one older person that was also with us. Not older in age, but, um, as far as original. And then I've seen on the schedule that one of the, uh, supervisors is coming back. Uh, she just wasn't on the schedule today. I didn't see the other two, so either they quit or they are going to be here in the next couple of weeks. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. So hopefully I will see them in the next couple of weeks, honey. Um, because like I said, mm, I don't know if I can really stay there if it's just her. I, and I, like I said, maybe, maybe I can if it's, but that's a whole nother video. But like I said, the first day of work went well. Um, we had to wear the mask all day. That was irritating a little bit. But ultimately, I guess because it was a very slow day, like it was unusual. And that that's a whole nother video within itself. Um, our university, people are finally speaking out against this particular franchise I work for, and I can't blame them. Y'all know even I have spoken out against the restaurant that I work for. Um and you know, the I think this red shirt is a dead giveaway in the fact that we're closed on Sundays. That That's all I'm going to give y'all, and that's all I'm legally able to give you. But, yeah, they they are taking a stand, but I, I'm thinking that most of the students ain't got there to the first. So, we are, they supposed to be doing a protest. Our, our manager po uh, has warned us that they're going to be protesters in the coming days, but we'll see how that fares. And all the other ones that are around in Fayetteville are still doing good. Not to say that's a good thing. Once again, I have to remain neutral just due to the fact that I'm working here till December at the latest. Now, if something happens where I can put in my notice earlier, like with TLC, which is doing good, which so good that a girl done got her credits to go together. I'm in the 600s club, and I know I keep saying I'm going to, do that credit video but i promise y'all i'm going to get it done sometime either tomorrow or friday for sure but this just threw me for a loop something just told me to go ahead and call the people up at the car mats right and i got approved no i didn't even have to um send in no income verification or anything they straight up approved me based off my credit and everything um and like i said I'm now in there with my aesthetics business up on the rise and I've reported that income and with my income at this um, university, they approved me. I end up going with the 2016 Rogue S. It's um, <clears throat> 50,000 miles. 
it, it doesn't come with all the bells and the whistles, but it does come with my rear camera, which y'all will see in the previous video. Um, what else? It's white, uh, unfortunately. I can always get it custom colored later on, but it, it's white. Um, what else? That's about it. I mean, I, because I go in detail about all the specs of the Rogue S and why I end up wanting to choose that because of my profession. Like, if I ever had to put the massage table in the back, it's convenient. Also, if I got to transport waxes and all of that all at the same time. If I had to make a run up to Cosmoprof and stock up on a lot of, you know, store items and stuff, I, I, I got that significant amount of space. So that's one thing. Also, you know, since it's just me, myself, and I, you know, your girl got to go online to get one of those fancy kits. You know, the thing where, like, if you stranded on the side of the street, um, you have the thing that can turn into a flashlight, a panic alarm. You can also jack up your own, um, car and, you know, twist the, the lug nuts or whatever they call off the car and change your tire and all that it's like honey a girl can really be wonder woman even if you don't know nothing about no damn car so i need to get me one of those um also a automatic battery charger for my car as well so it's like if i ever come in a situation where my battery dead or whatever i will have that battery generator in the car that can also double up as a phone charger and several other things so you know a girl needs a lot of space so that's another reason why i end up choosing the rogue s is also affordable fourteen thousand. with my credit score being 630 they put me at a finance rate of 14 percent i end up choosing 72 month term well once again all this is not documented on paper yet so I want to try to have this video uploaded by Saturday and the ones that comment the same day, y'all are able to give me some suggestions. That way I can, you know, factor that in before I sign on the dotted line Sunday. And even then I have seven days to change my mind. So this video will be uploaded long before the decision is finalized. So even after paperwork is signed, I still have seven days to change my mind. So this video will be uploaded in time for y'all to give y'all suggestions. Unlike the last video, which y'all post been choosing between the cars for me, and I done a jump shield. But like I said, a girl was desperate, honey. I'm tired of, you know, and then the fact that it was supposed to rain today, thank goodness I ended up getting home just before it rained. But tomorrow it's raining and Friday, and it is like, even with the umbrella, you know, that wind gets heavy. Um, my, my umbrella can actually withstand 100 per mile winds. So I can be in the midst of a hurricane and that, um, umbrella is that durable. But the thing is, it won't protect the rain from hitting me nonetheless if the wind is going like that. So it's like I need a car. Also, like I said, when I move and I need to travel to the schoolhouse, I don't want to be at the mercy of Uber, which is non-existent in Fayetteville right now. The Uber drivers are very sporadic. The Lyft drivers are very sporadic. And the cab is like, no. The cigarette smoke, I don't miss the check a yellow cab with the, with the cigarette smoke. And I'm paying for the income. It, it's like I like the Uber and Lyft standard where it's more clean. Where it's, you know, you, you get to your place. It's none of that hassle that the check a yellow cab does. I'm not paying for inconvenience. And then with that money that racks up, it's like I end up spending four, five hundred dollars with the checker yellow cab. I might as well go ahead and get me um uh, a car and pay. Uh, oh, also my payments. Um, uh, my payments. I also added a few extra things on there. They they added something where, let's say, if I get in an accident and my car is total and depreciated value of the car. For my insurance, they pay it out at that, but I owe more on the car than what the insurance paid out. They said it's gap insurance, where like, let's say if I owe 10000 left on the car, and but the depreciated value is now 8000 They will pay the extra $2,000. And I think that's like a total of $775 outright or... And they, or the, and then they factored in into the insurance. I had it rolled over into the insurance. Another thing I end up paying for is 
You know, because once again, I don't know nothing about all that technical stuff. Like if the transmission go out and all that, um, they can take care of that for me. And they roll that in into the insurance. If, if I was to buy it outright, it would have been like two thousand some dollars. But I'm, I'm like, mm -mm, just, just go ahead and roll it on in. And then I asked her about, is there a penalty if I pay the car off early? Because once again, I, fa I calculated everything and the total comes up to like $21,000. But I know I'm not going to end up paying $21,000 because of the fact that my goal is I'm going to pay off the car within three years. I know that for a fact. But I chose a 72 month, um, a 72 month, um, Damn, why do I want to say mortgage? Because I'm thinking about the house because y'all know I'm still on this house tour. But a 72-month loan because of the fact that, you know, it gave me the best payments right now. In total, I think I'm up to like 300 and I'll be paying $315 a month, which I don't think is bad. Now, here's where the kicker comes in. This darn on insurance. <laughs> this full coverage, oh my God. Why is my full coverage so high? I did not know full coverage is this high. I guess because it's a finance car and not paid outright, I thought it was going to be like 70, 80 bucks. But uh, I guess that's only after, you know, your, you own your car. But right now, the lowest that I've gotten from, you know, looking at Liberty Mutual, I haven't seen Progressive yet. But the lowest one is the general. The general, I got 183. 183, y'all. Oh, my God, my darn on, my darn on insurance is about as much as a damn car. Oh my goodness. And that's a month. That's, that's not no six months or whatever. Oh my goodness. And then the, the thing is this, since I, um, I took the liberty of having them to come to my house, which is free. They, 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 um, they deliver it for free. But for me to test drive it, I have to have the insurance beforehand. And they gave me the VIN number and all of that for me to go ahead and do it. So it's like, ugh. I got to come out at least one month's worth of insurance just to darn on test drive this car. Ain't that's about a bitch, y'all. They talking about you could use your own insurance. I'm like, this is my first car. I don't got no darn on insurance. So. That's my dilemma. And then I thought, well, shouldn't I get unowner's insurance? They was like, no, you got to have full coverage. And it's like, okay, I understand full, having full coverage once I get the car. But I'm talking about the test drive the car. Y'all want me to have the, the, the thing beforehand? They was like, yeah. So I'm going to pay for, I guess I'm going with the general list. I can get the progressive to be one, lower than 183. I done looked at about three things. I looked at Dairyland Auto. Honey, they had me up there like 250 something. I looked at uh, Liberty Mutual. They had me at 225. And see, this is why I wanted to be in my house first. See, if I would have got in the house with a garage, I know darn gone well they would have uh, deducted about $40. Because y'all know when I went to school for marketing, they taught us about these marketing tactics, about how they factor in your car payments. They based it off of your address. Number one, the neighborhood. So the fact that I'm in a, a questionable neighborhood, that's strike one. High crime rate area, strike one. That's why they always ask for your address to see the crime rate and to see if your house got a um a garage. So I'm already on strike two. Not a previous car owner, strike three. <laughs> so, and then thank goodness I'm no longer young because back when I was 23, 24, oh God, honey. My, my thing would have been through the darn on roof, honey. But I'm complaining about that 183. My darn on insurance probably would have been like five, six hundred dollars a month. Age discrimination. And which is weird because it's like, okay, now they ask how long have you been licensed? But it's like, this is crazy. Would they punish a, a older person who had limited license? Uh, because it's like, what, what I noticed in the past would, is it's like you could be 30 years old and just get your license for the first time and you could get the best rates but you could be 23 and been driving legally for eight years 
and then they'll treat the 30 year old better than you even though you have more significant driving experience than the 30 year old so i never understood that why they didn't never ask on in previous years when you rent cars and stuff about how long have you been driving they might still be bigoted like that i i don't know but now you know getting my own car I'm actually excited. I know I don't sound excited, y'all. I'm drained because it's been a long day. It's been a long day. But I am very excited. I can't wait to be doing the darn on car vlogs. Oh, another thing. I got to purchase me a car mount. Uh, uh, you know, a phone mount. So, yeah, I got that. I got to return her call tomorrow. Uh, She done gave me some emails to look over as far as everything as far as i told y'all about you know the insurance thing about the gap insurance about um you know them covering if my transmission goes out something major like that she told me what's not included if i get a flat tire that's not included if i get a crack in the window that's not included that i would have to come out of pocket for I'm wondering, is there some cosmetic insurance for those little things? I wonder if Motor Clubs of America still, but I don't think they covered that. <laughs> you know, I remember when I used to be part of MCA back in the past. Honey, we done came a long way since then. Honey, now I'm part of a company that actually darn gone gives me some compensation. But you know, we ain't, we ain't going to talk about TLC in this video, y'all. Which, it reminds me, I also got to open up that darn on new order that I got. But I still got my, um, Nutra Burst Plus that I, I got about five more days left before I really need to, um, um, open that box. But I want to open it up for y'all on camera to show that I'm still steady consistent with the company. And I'm now getting the fruits of my labor as a darn on result. Come on through, Diva Wan. But yes, that's my darn on week in a nutshell. Finally starting back on a good... Oh, and I got my schedule. And, yeah, let, let me go ahead and break this schedule down for y'all. And then I got to hop in the shower. It's nine-something, honey. And I got to get back up er, uh, tomorrow morning. So, the way that my schedule reads out, tomorrow I'm 11 to 4, Friday 10 to 4. So, I, I could probably do... I could still do videos those days. Now, this is where, you know, obviously Saturdays, I rarely don't do videos on set because my mother's all. And then Sunday, they going to come here with my car. So, don't, no videos on those days. Monday, I'm off, but I got to wash this hair. So, I don't know if I'm going to do any videos those days. And then it's like Monday gets real complicated. You know, I, I, I'm going to cancel out Monday because Mondays are not only going to be my designated wash day, you know, whenever I'm not working, because, you know, I got a rotating schedule. But, but thankfully, though, she gave me Monday off, thank goodness. Because I, I still love my Maddie in the morning. I miss Maddie, darn on you, yesterday. So, I'm glad this upcoming week I'll be able... Although, the darn on Maddie says she traveling, though. I, I think she finally going to Florida to see the baby, so I don't know... If we're going to even get a Maddie in the morning on this upcoming Monday. I, now, hot darn. It, 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 I mean, you know, good for her. But, you know, I'm finally off work. And, you know, I, she might be gone to Florida. So, who else on Monday? Uh, my girl, uh, Go Go. Okay, I'll be able to see you. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> you know, no shade. But, you know, I'm looking at my skin. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can, Go Go. I can. I was about to say, darn, you late at night. If I had to darn on get up early in the morning, I might have to catch you on the playback. But actually, no, I'm I'm 12 on Tuesday. And, oh, but I close. <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday. And then, you know, she ain't got the schedule up for the week after. Usually she gives two weeks out. But due to the fact that she was changing so many schedules because people last minute came down with families having the corona and stuff she was only able to give us the first week schedule so looks like tuesday wednesday of next week i'm unavailable monday oh lord look like none of that <laughs> next week and then it's like i don't know how thursday friday gonna feel so it looks like the only days i got with y'all is tomorrow tomorrow and friday mm -mm, i only got tomorrow and friday with y'all 
And maybe Monday, maybe Monday, because like I said, Monday, I don't think Madison's going to be with us. So if that's the case, oh, but see, this demon don't get out this house until 1230 though. So that, that, and then I might as well wash my hair early if that's the case, because usually I wait until after Maddie goes off around two, two thirty, and then I wash my hair then. But, oh, and then I'm I'm going to have to get me a it. So, yeah, that Monday still ain't going to be a day, y'all. Because y'all know I, I done got back into my exercise crave, honey. I done got back into my exercise kick. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a good two hours of workout. Soon as she leaves, uh, if Maddie ain't on, I'm going to get my two hours worth of workout in, wash my hair. So, it's 50-50 on Monday. It, it's 50-50. I, and I know I ain't never got to talk about Richard Lou Dennis getting kicked out from Essence. What else I haven't talked about? I haven't gave a, 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 a TLC update in a round. Haven't gotten to the credit score video. I got, those are my three things I definitely got to deal with. And I got to uh, respond back to some of y'all comments. I've been slacking y'all. But for good reasons for once. Because I'm finally darn on least accomplished one thing. I finally got the car. Now we need to get the house. Although I would have preferred the, the house first. But my credit score did not drop like I thought. It only dropped me down three points. So, although, you know, we it, it, it hasn't put that depth on it. So, I don't know how that's going to work. So, that that was the inquiry. So, now I ain't out the woods yet. We're going to see if this is factored in as positive depth. Or, they say... um car depth on your credit report is considered positive depth so it doesn't really negatively affect your car your credit rating like that so we we're going to see when i when i sign on the dotted line and i'm in you know i'm in a contract and after the seven days expire it's now fully binding we're going to see how that um fares on my credit report might have to take out another credit card just to darn on offset that darn on stuff right there to get my darn on and because once again, I'm still not at my 640. And like I said, I don't know if this darn going, um, car loan going to have me up or down. Ooh. But also in regards to the house, I have not heard back from, from, um, uh, the one bedroom apartment. I'm going to reach back out to them tomorrow, 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 honey, everything tomorrow, honey. I got to respond back to the woman tomorrow. Oh, and then, you know, see, here's the conundrum. Oh, I might have to delay my darn on the call with the lawyer and attorney because y'all know on the fifth, right? Let me, let me pull up my work schedule again. Oh, first, let me pull up my calendar. On the fifth, I supposed to been having my call about my aesthetics practice because now, because y'all know, I'm still waiting on the uh, EIN number and stuff to come back from the state, right? So I can go ahead and reveal to y'all the, the name of my new aesthetics because it's no longer Lawan Aesthetics. Um, I done changed the name and stuff over, and then I can get my bank account and all that, and get the I can finally start seeing customers and stuff again. And you know, because the reason why I've been holding off is because. I don't want to no longer be having cash on hand. I want to have it factored in through the bank. So once again, when the Rona hits again, a girl can qualify for the PPP loans and all that stuff too. Also, this can also be added on to my income, you know, tax return time. And I'm talking about as the business and um, having it set up as a business, I can still, I can then start to qualify for business credit. So that's why I need to get that together. But that post been on the fifth at let me see what time seven thirty. But that day I'm actually working from twelve to eight, and I was trying to get them to get me in there earlier. Like let's let's have the conversation at ten. It looks like they don't have it. Oh, they they the next get the next day out is let me see, I think it was the thirteenth of August or the tenth of August. But once again, I had to get in contact with my boss, Damar, and see one or two things. More likely, she ain't going to be able to let me off work early because the fact that we have several people out. 
and I'm one of the only original people left. So I'm going to have to delay that darn on conversation with them into the 10th and make sure, you know, regardless if, if no people back, it's like, I got to, you know, I, I love the school and all, but I don't go to school for the paper. Yeah, y'all don't pay me that much money. Y'all pay me nine twenty five an hour. I go there to uh, help combat my clinical depression and my argophobia. So I'm more, I'm there mostly to get out the house. And you know, like I said, with the way that this wrong, we're going to see how it fares with with the school and stuff. But if if it gets too difficult for me, because like I said, I'm not there for the pay. I'm I'm there for you know. To combat my argophobia and my clinical depression, to build up my, you know, conversational skills, uh, learning how to work with people and all of that to, to get me up out my shell. So it's a, it's a form of therapy for me. I know that's real. You know, I, I, I took a job at a restaurant, a controversial one at that to build up my darn on confidence. Honey, what better darn on way to build up your confidence than to work at a controversial restaurant with some darn on ratchet darn on behind people at a schoolhouse full of darn on uh twenty some year old darn on students, honey. I know the craziness of Diva One. But I'm I'm slowly coming out my shell more and more by the day. And you know the schoolhouse is serving its purpose for my, you know, therapy, honey. You know a girl can't afford you know, to go to a traditional therapist. So this is my form of self-therapy. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, that's everything. And another, Oh, and my order finally came, y'all, which I can't open tonight because of the time restraint because I got to hop in the shower, like I said. But after five weeks, honey, my darn on gay pride and trans pride shirts and stuff have finally arrived. I ordered this off of a certain site. And it took them over, I ordered it like June the 5th, and it's now July 29th, and I'm getting it. It took them that long, to pro like it didn't, it took them the 21st to ship it out. It took them five weeks to get to my order, and I can't wait to show y'all these shirts. So, yeah, I got that to show y'all as well. So, my neutral birds, my LGBT pride shirts, Richard Lou Dennis getting kicked out of Essence. Why it seem like I'm forgetting something? I think that's it. I think I think I covered everything because, like I said, the car videos and stuff. Obviously, that'll be afterwards. Um, that'll be after Sunday, and Monday is questionable. Monday is questionable. So, and then I know y'all are gonna be like, "Well, darn on, why? When we gonna get a car vlog then?" Hold on, let me see. Go back to my photos, pull up the schedule, and then for legality purposes, I can't even record at the schoolhouse. Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe if I'm off either that Thursday or Friday, the sixth or the uh the seventh, y'all will be get y'all be able to get one then. Matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I can request to get the six and seven off since you know. She ain't, I, I hope she ain't got that schedule up there tomorrow. And, and, you know, if she, if it is, hopefully I'm off one of those days. And then, number one, I can go ahead and just reschedule my, um, with the attorney and stuff that day. Because it's just like a half hour, 45 minute conversation. It ain't going to take up my whole day. And then from there, I can get back on here and talk with y'all. So, yep, that's how my schedule is going thus far. And like I said, as soon as I get me a house, and once again, I got to find some time now to also, and what, and I'm glad she got me off early, you know, tomorrow. It's not until, you know, the start of next week where she has me all the way late night. Ooh. But, yeah. I hope I get this darn on a little apartment though. Like I said, it's one bedroom only, unfortunately, but it's seven hundred and fifty square feet. It's five seventy five a month. I I can do that because five seventy five plus this darn on three fifteen for the car. That puts me at eight ninety, and then that darn on insurance is gonna be like two two hundred. 
So that's a thousand and ninety. Thousand and ninety. Let's say my lights is like another two hundred, and then my cable is another one twenty because I might up go ahead and upgrade to the um four hundred uploads per second. Currently, my cable, internet, and phone is like a hundred dollars, a hundred and one dollars to be exact. So fourteen ten a month is what I'm looking to spend, and that's not including you know groceries. Which hell I might darn gonna go down there and apply for the hell they might give me the full darn on benefits now. Especially since you know I might you know I ain't We'll see though. Shoot. I, I might recertify. Like I said, they hell I pay into the system. They can give me my little bit of uh money until my darn on the status, you know, starts popping off. Because right now I'm only paying myself about like twelve hundred from that. And then this job is eleven hundred, so 23 23 oh and then they also factor in your phone so fifty dollars so 14 16 minus Then I can also finesse some numbers around to lower that number down a little bit just to get me about a good hundred bucks and stuff. Once again, it ain't, it, I ain't darn going to totally lie because I can always purchase some more products and justify the cost. So I'm not lying because I can, like I said, I'm actually purchasing the item. So it is what it is. <laughs> So I I know TMI. I know y'all was like, "Why well, we do not want to hear you about you darn on finessing the system legally?" Okay, but anyways, y'all, that is everything in a nutshell. Let me go on here and get off here. Finally got my car, y'all. Finally got. I, I'm sorry, I only got the darn on mood to jump up and down for joy. It's darn on nine o'clock at night. These walls are thin as hell, so I ain't trying to darn on you know. Disturb my neighbors, honey. You know, what the older guy is older, and he don't cause me no trouble. Unlike them darn old ungrateful ass grandkids that used to smoke weed all day, had the darn old weed permeating through the walls, blasting music all types of nights in the morning. He don't do none of that. So I, I want to be mutually respectful and not be carrying on all types of hours of the night myself. So when I get in from work tomorrow around five, then y'all get to see the more excited me. Providing that no shit didn't, you know, no sugar honey iced tea didn't pop off at the job where I had to come over here and give, you know, the same old negative commentary. But we ain't going to let that, you know, happen because like I said, things are finally looking up for your girl. Things are finally looking up. We still got some roadblocks ahead. We still got to get this income a little bit more up. Like right now I'm around $2,300 a month. I, I would prefer to be at around 4000 a month. And we're going to get there soon enough. So, like I said, as soon as I get these legalities together with my darn on and steady business, honey, we're we going to quickly jump up the 4000 a month. And then as soon as I really get uh, good into um, TLC, honey, we're going to jump up the 6000 per month. The ultimate goal is to be at $12,000 per month. And that um, I'm going to get myself till June of 2000. I know that's that's quite an aggressive goal, but I'm giving myself to June of 2021 to be at 12,000 per month. I'm giving myself to the end of this year to be at 6,000 per month. So those are my goals, y'all. So y'all wish me luck. Let me go ahead and get off here because I have to also catch my green leaf as well. I did not catch last week, y'all. So I know y'all were like, well, Diva, I don't think Green Leaf. Actually, the other one did come on yesterday because I think they come on Tuesday. So I got two episodes to watch, but I want to watch one of them tonight, y'all. So that's it, y'all. But y'all leave y'all thoughts down below. Like I said, I want y'all opinions, uh, especially car insurance quotes. Please give that to me, y'all. This video is going to be uploaded, hopefully tomorrow afternoon i know it's outside my normal schedule usually i like to upload 9 30 in the morning but due to this newfound schedule my my normal schedule is thrown off for the time being so yeah but also when i upload multiple days 
Uh, my afternoon schedule is 3.30, so. But I know this video is going to be uploaded later than that. It's, like I said, it's going to throw y'all off. Normally, I upload either 9.30. 9.30 in the morning, 1.30 afternoon, 3.30 in the afternoon. This is the first time in a long time that I'm uploading randomly like 6, 7 o'clock in the afternoon. So look out for this video around that time. So that is it, y'all. Uh, oh, and also this video will be uploaded more likely on Friday because for this video to make sense, y'all got to actually see the car video first. So that'll be uploaded thursday and this will be uploaded friday or saturday just in time for y'all to give me y'all opinions um for me to make my decision with the uh carmax on sunday so that is it y'all